Have you ever heard that doctors advise pregnant women to avoid eating certain types of fish? It's true. Today we're going to learn about two important concepts, bioaccumulation and biomagnification, that help explain why. Bioaccumulation is the buildup of toxins within a single organism over time. It happens because the organism takes in toxins faster than it can excrete them, so they build up in its body. Some compounds containing heavy metals like mercury and lead, and persistent organic pollutants, like the pesticide DDT for example, bioaccumulate because they are fat-soluble and difficult to break down. They tend to get stuck in an organism's fat and other lipids, and stay there. As more of the toxin gets consumed, it builds up over time. That's bioaccumulation. Biomagnification is the increase in concentration of these toxins as they move up a food chain. This happens because predators accumulate higher levels of the toxin by consuming many contaminated prey organisms. So, the concentration of toxins in top predators ends up being much higher than the concentration in prey species that are lower on the food chain. As an example, a bald eagle might eat thousands of fish in its lifetime. As a result, the amount of toxin that was spread out in thousands of kilograms of fish now is concentrated in an eagle that might weigh around 5 kilograms. That's a lot more toxin per kilogram. This process of biomagnification caused bald eagles to become endangered in the past. This was because a pesticide called DDT got biomagnified, and the high concentration of DDT caused eagle eggshells to be thin and weak. The eggs would break as a result, and the eagles couldn't reproduce effectively. Fortunately, the banning of DDT has allowed bald eagle populations to recover, and they are no longer on the endangered species list. Let's look at a biomass pyramid to make the concept of biomagnification more clear. Notice in our pyramid that there are more organisms, and therefore more biomass at the bottom, and fewer organisms, and therefore less biomass at the top. When the small fish eat many algae, the amount of toxin gets more concentrated in fewer organisms and less biomass. The same thing happens again as the larger fish eat many small fish, and as the eagle eats many large fish. Notice how much more concentrated the toxin gets as you move up to higher trophic levels. The eagle has a much higher concentration of toxin in its body than the fish or the algae. That's biomagnification. So, how does this apply to our doctor's advice that we mentioned at the beginning of the video? Well, some of the fish that people like to eat are really high up on the food chain. Sharks and swordfish, for example, are top predators so they will often have a high concentration of mercury in them because of biomagnification of this pollutant. Since mercury can be very harmful to a developing baby's nervous system, it's important for expectant mothers to avoid eating fish that are high on the food chain. Let's recap. Bioaccumulation is the buildup of a toxin over time in a single organism, and biomagnification is the increase in concentration of a toxin at higher trophic levels. Don't forget to practice bioaccumulation and biomagnification by playing the game at biomanbio.com.